Buzz Off, Heroic Spy in the Sky, was released on December 2010 in the Masters of the Universe Classics line. And behold, Buzz Off in his Masters of the Universe Classics package. Yes, and there's nothing special about this package. It's the standard Masters of the Universe Classics package. Well, there is one difference. Well, kind of difference. As you can see, no holes. And as you can hopefully see, double amount of holes. Uh, I don't know if this is a uh, some kind of ongoing feature in the future but this is the first time there's no holes on this side well if you don't count Mossman where there were no holes none whatsoever on either side side and if you look closely uh, or carefully you can see the plastic tray there that's new to buzz off which was pretty nice and good thing when I opened the figure okay but yeah here's buzz off in his package Yep, and this is the back of his package, and here you can see some already released figures, some already reissued, and some, well, maybe someday. And then, of course, the main feature of the figures backside or the card backs the bio okay and here's maticollector.com logo with Mr. Evil okay and of course the brainwashing sentence collect them all Okay. okay, but that's about the package, and so let's take out the real star of the show, or the video, the review, whatever, opened bus off. So, say goodbye to your packaged clone since we won't be needing him anymore bye bye and yes here's pass off yeah well and first just to annoy you well some of you anyway let's go through his articulation so first we have the wrist, elbow, bicep, and shoulder, head, I should, okay. Now it's better. Uh, so the head, it goes around, all the way around. This is the most up it goes, and this is the lowest it can go. So not really very big range on motion. Then there is a crunch. Yes, it's there. Even if it's 
a little bit hard to see, but the hinge is there. Little bit hindered by this piece here, but you can, well, you can see the joint. I think. Well, I can see. I'm not sure if you can see from your screens. <coughs> it, but it's there. And then there is the waist twist and legs go like this like this like this like this like this like this and like this so there's ankle the lower leg knee and this upper leg uh, even though this is pretty loose uh, it doesn't matter because the angles otherwise are nice and tight and of course the whiplash feet model makes sure this figure will keep standing nicely but of course articulation continues with this figure so let's go to the back side and here you can see the wings that are articulated there is the ball joint ball joints so the wing then go like this and like this and this and so on there's also two of these insect legs that are also ball jointed can go like this and so on or like this and this if you don't want to see them Personally, I don't mind, so I'll be them like this. Okay, so that's articulation for bus off. So let's go and look some of bus off details. First, his legs and pretty much he also his upper torso his whiplash reuse only repainted still nice colors and nice paint sheen uh, also this piece is not glued on like it was on whiplash this seems to be a little bit more loosely attached of course from the back it might be a little bit harder to take off and like on whiplash even though I haven't looked under this I'm pretty sure that this dark brown scaly thing are co covering all of his upper torso 
also the elbow, uh, no elbows, shoulders, uh, also whiplash reuse. But I'm not sure about this bicep piece, but but the forearm and the hand, well, the claw or pincers are new pieces, at least uh, at this point. These might be reused on some figure or figures. And of course, well, there is the head with a very nice metallic green eyes, which I personally like very much. And those eyes make the head pop out of and well, I like those out, those eyes. And it is not bad at all. Well, maybe we should look a little bit closer of that hand and well, forearm and penis. And this piece is not articulated, it's one solid piece. And then there are, there's these wings. That is, like you can see, pretty well. They are translucent. They are this yellow with yellow uh, actually little greenish yellow kind of color. And on here on the back side, well at least what I use as a back side of the wings are the they are these electronic components looking patterns and on the front well what aside I use as front they are they are this smooth more organic looking wing patterns of course since these are translucent, you can see those patterns or both patterns on both sides. Also, well, I already mentioned these. Insect legs. There's nothing special and uh, more about those, but this back piece and these legs have nice shading on them. This orange kind of color shading. Also, his muscles uh, have muscle shading. Well, at least these light brown pieces have I think that is that muscle shading is strong enough even to even you to see from your screens when some muscle shading on some figures is almost it's pretty hard or almost impossible to see even with the naked eye. Okay. 
Well, okay. Um, this loin cloth is well. It's pretty. Well, it's not the softest there is, but it's more pliable than some. It's not Webster soft, but it's close. Also, this this piece. Well, you can see how it is. It's on with that block block the on the. And while this is kind of flexible like this, uh, this piece here up here is glued on his neck. So so these are not very easily removable. Well, at least I'm not going to take this part off because it's glued on here. But yeah, those were details and let's go to accessories. First, there is this helmet. Pretty boring looking if you ask me. And it goes on bus off like this. And it stays on. Personally I think this looks pretty dumb. So I'm not using this. Then there is this vintage weapon. Well, at least I think it's win vintage weapon, since I never had the fi vintage figure. Pretty basic looking. Well, even still, it looks nice. But this is the weapon I use and like more. This big axe with nice details. Kind of yellowish metallic golden blade and this stinger part. Otherwise it's kind of matte finish. But nice colors and nice color scheme. I like. So that's why I'm using this with my bus off. Yes. And Next, my opinions about this figure. Well, first of all, mm, I'll give this figure three and a half from five. Even though this figure does not have any big problems, it's just not on my top figure list. Well, probably it is the top figure list because I think this figure would go above, well, it would be on the top half if the list was cut in half. Okay, but yeah, it's a nice looking figure. And even though I didn't have the vintage figure, I'm happy with this figure. 
Millennium Series fans may be a little bit disappointed with this figure, but vintage cartoon friends and oh, and also vintage figure fans would be very pleased with this figure. And like I said, on my figure there's no big defects or anything like that. There are some minor paint things, but with these figures there always is. Uh, joints are nice and tight and so on. So overall it's a good figure. And I recommend this figure to everyone. If you want it to resellers, you go magicollector.com as usual has sold out or oh, there is none left there. I'm pretty sure someday we'll see the reissue of pass off. But until that time, it's the reseller you must go. And yeah, that's oh, this is where this review stops. I have nothing more to say. Well, I might have, but I'm going to stop here mostly because tape on my camera is running out so this was bus off we see each other with next review whenever that is but until then it's goodbye for now